Hi folks, this is Guy. I've been doing pest control for many years now and I've been licensed in several states. Well, I'm not licensed anymore because I'm retired now. But given that many people need to save money these days, I decided that I would share ways that I learned over the years on how you can do your own pest control effectively, safely, and inexpensively. Now you should know that I am not making any money from any of my videos. At least not yet. <laughs> YouTube has not paid me anything and I do not receive any compensation from any companies that manufacture or sell pesticides and equipment. My only motivation for doing these videos is to help others. So I hope that you will pay it forward. Please share this video with a friend, family member, you know, anybody that you may know who would also like to save a buck on pest control. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, then please hit the subscribe button. I don't do these videos very often because I have a lot on my plate these days, but I will try to get them done just as quickly as I can. Okay, today we are going to talk about the difference between carpenter ants and termites. This is important because termites do a lot more damage than carpenter ants and they are treated much differently too. The first thing you should know is that I have seen a bit of misinformation on the web about the difference between termites and carpenter ants that I would like to clear up. I see all the time that even professionals that do these videos may tell you that termites only have two body segments. This is not true. Termites are insects and all insects have three body segments. They are the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Now this is an easy mistake to make because while ants have three very distinct body parts, termites appear to have only two. This is because termites do not have that pinched waist construction that ants have. So the thorax and the abdomen are very close together, making it appear as if they only have two body segments. If you compare the photos, you can clearly see that carpenter ants look much different than termites. You also should note that carpenter ants are really large and they range in size from a quarter of an inch to about three quarters of an inch, which makes them one of the biggest, if not the biggest ant in the United States. So if you can catch one of these things, you can easily tell if you were dealing with a termite or a carpenter ant. Once you have determined what you're dealing with, you can watch either my termite identification video or my carpenter ant video. It's important to watch the termite identification video before you watch the termite treatment video because different types of termites require, well, different types of treatment. As for carpenter ants, even though there are different kinds, they are all treated the same way. So if you have carpenter ants, you can jump right to the treatment video. I will put a link in the description to both the termite identification video and the carpenter ant video. Now, I would love to discuss all of this in one video. But I have discovered that folks seem to like their YouTube videos short, so I decided to break it up into segments. That way you don't need to watch information that you don't actually need. Okay, that's it for me today. If you found this video to be of assistance to you in any way, please share it with a friend who may also need to save some money on pest control. And, of course, if you would like to see more of my videos, then please subscribe. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. And please do not hesitate to ask questions. I'm always here to help.